Hello crafty friends, it is Alicia here on the Cat Scrappiness channel to show you how to create three quick and easy birthday cards using some of the newest goodies from the online store. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here again. Cat Scrappiness's latest release was full of birthday themed goodies. In front of me here are just a few of the items that they released. I will have a link to all of the new items in that description box below for you to check out when you're done here. Today for my card, I'm going to be using the Birthday Essentials die set, the Layered Party Banner Cover Plate die, and the Birthday Essentials 6x8 paper pad. And I will be creating three cards here on camera. Once I start with the process, I will tell you about other products and tools I bring in, but if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Here's a look at the three pieces of paper I chose from the pad, and for my layout today, I'm going to be using the February 2022 sheet load of cards with just a change or two. Because of the way I need to cut the papers and the way they need to be oriented, I did have to make sure that the patterns I chose could read in a horizontal layout. I cut these down to size. Each piece got cut into one four and a quarter by five and a half and three pieces that were one inch wide by four and a half inches tall. You'll see here for that last one inch piece, I held it in place with a piece of removable tape while I trimmed that down. While I finished cutting those other two pieces, I thought I would let you know about a video you might want to check out. Over the weekend, Cat Scrappiness was one of the sponsors for the Card Makers Success Summit, and on Saturday, I did a live tutorial where I made the faux shaker card that you see on screen now. Even though you can't still register for the summit or watch the videos unless you paid for the VIP access, you can still see my live video. So in the description box below, when you're done with this video, I hope you'll check it out. I had a couple little hiccups, but overall I think it went well even though I was super nervous and I love the faux shaker card that I made. Once the pattern papers were cut down, I cut a mat for them. I cut this piece of blue cardstock into three pieces that are three and a half inches wide by four and three quarters inches tall. Now we're going to do some die cutting. Later, I am going to use the tiered cake on the front of the card. And for now, I want to get some pattern frosting to go on those. Because the center of the card will be covered with that blue mat, I am actually going to die cut the frosting from the center of each of these three pieces. This is a great way to save on cardstock since you won't see that section anyway. Once those first three pieces of frosting were cut, I did the same thing with the other two patterns. And also while I was off camera, I chose three solids, which are actually the back sides of some of the patterns. And I am going to cut that tiered cake from each of these. The sketch originally called for a strip of cardstock at the bottom with a stamp sentiment. Because my focal image or the cake is so large, I decided to bring that horizontal strip to the top of the card by cutting some of the party banners from the cover plate using those scraps that were left over from cutting down the pattern papers originally. Now what I'm going to do since everything is cut, I am going to pair up the, all of the elements for single cards. Instead of having three different pattern paper strips across the front, you'll notice there I put all of the patterns in one kind with a single background. Now that each of my little card kits were ready, I could put the cards together. I will just be showing you how I do one here on screen. So it had time to dry, 
I started out by placing my frosting onto the layered cake. This got set to the side under a stamp block while I worked on the card front. For this, the first thing I did was cover up the center of the pattern paper with the blue mat, and then I placed my pattern paper strips. I placed the outside two first, trying to get even outside borders, and then I can place that center one, just lining it up with the other two and centering it between them. Now for the banner, I did kind of trim off the edges, kind of try to figure out where I wanted that to go with the cake, and then I adhered that in place with some liquid glue. While the banner was drying, I did add some foam tape to the back of my tiered cake off camera just to get some dimension on the card. And once I pulled that release paper, I centered this at the bottom of the card front. Since this card is already so bright and colorful, I did not add my usual bling, but I did add this to a card base. Here's a look at the finished cards. I think receiving one of today's trio of cards would make the young or young at heart in your life feel special on their birthday. A way that you could kind of personalize these for the recipient is, you know, if it was a first birthday, you could put a single candle or you could just put a candle just because. Another thing you could do is put a die cut number at the top of the cake for whatever birthday it is of theirs. If you did enjoy today's video, as always, we appreciate a thumbs up. Until the next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.